Ring in the new year with amazing savings from Appalachian Wireless. Get the Galaxy S7 for just $49.99 when you sign or renew a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Many across the region woke up to roads that didn't even look like snow had touched them. That's thanks to the employees at the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. Salt truck operators worked around the clock, even switching crews at midnight, to make sure the roads were safe for travelers today. However, besides the long hours, there is a lot of hard work and effort that goes into treating the roadway, even so much as using different chemicals throughout each process of treatment. The material that we use prior to the storm is salt brine, which is just a solution of rock salt and water. And that's something that we manufacture both at our Shelby and a lot in Pike County and at our Martin County lot near Inez. And we manufacture that and distribute that to our 10 garages for anti-icing. During the storm, a primary material is rock salt, of course. That's what most people are familiar with. We also have calcium chloride that we purchase that's a liquid. And the calcium chloride helps the rock salt be more effective down to lower temperatures down into the low teens. One issue the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet is facing now is not only dealing with clearing snow off the roadways, but also treating black ice. One of the other things that we're watching closely is the probability of black ice in the morning as temperatures are expected to drop. And with the amount of water that's on the road from all the thawing from the snow, there is a danger of black ice overnight. So. Um, if we're not out responding to snow, we plan to have crews out early in the morning just driving roads, checking for areas of black ice and treating those as well. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet used just under 20,000 tons of salt during last year's winter period and has stocked the department with 25,000 tons for 2017. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.